the round two match. It will determine who goes to the semifinals. Dog versus Neko. Let's get him started in three, two, one. Tetris. And we're starting off with the ITZ, like ITZ Sharky one. What the heck? And right off the bat, their stacks diverge. So different stacking for these two players. Dog seed number three out of the United States of America, an eight time CTM majors winner. As CTM wins going back, uh, I don't know, forever. <laughs> How long ago? I mean, Dog has won many, many times. In fact, Dog also a two-time CTWC winner. Won in the online years, arguably the toughest years, 2020 and 2021, and has never finished outside of the top four in a single CTWC ever since 2020 when he started playing. Uh, I don't know where that ranks in terms of Tetris accomplishments, but what I do know is that people are not talking about it enough. That is for sure. To me, that is like all time great accomplishment. 79,000 here for Doug as we get underway in game number one of this match that will determine the semifinalists from the red bracket. Neko uh, has been in the classic Tetris monthly community, not you know super long and has not played a ton of ctms has played a bunch in challengers hopefuls things like that but finally was able to crack his way into um masters in august so last month also did play in mega masters going out in round one but also a a uh, second place finish of last year's Classic Tetris Russia Championship losing to Panic Portal as, you know, as you would because Portal is pretty sick. So, Dog, one of the all-time greats. Neko just making his second appearance here in Masters, trying to get his first ever win in what is, you know, an arguably lighter month. No Pixelandy, no Fractal, no Alex T., so there's a lot more opportunities for players per, potentially to get a favorable matchup. Unfortunately, Neko not doing that here in the top eight, having to run into Dog, who is our third winningest player in CTM history behind Corian at 11, Fractal at nine. Or yeah, Fractal at nine or 10? Nine. I don't remember. One of those. 331 for Neko, 252 for Dog. Neko right now, 80,000 points ahead. Dog in a Tetraso. So the lines are tied, and it's about a 60,000 point lead for Neko. Now, of course, even with those three players off, Andy, Fractal, and Alex, still very you know difficult field to try to get through you know scooty sodium broad and tristop sv dangler sidnev me miles dan v pants all right well he's not that difficult <laughs> but still a lot of players to get through neko defeating cobra last uh, this month was cobra's first time ever so neko getting through him Three fifty-three dog, four fifty-one Neko. So, almost a hundred thousand point lead for Neko in game one. And again, I apologize if I sound a little off or if I'm a little lethargic or I'm just absent. I'm just very sick right now, trying to fight through, get these brackets done. Neko getting up high on the board here. Takes a high skim. That left side might be a little cut off. And Neko's going to be in trouble. And Neko's going to top out 477. So Daw with a lower board here. About to go through this same sequence of pieces. 
and it was looking great for Neko. Had about a hundred thousand point lead, and then all of a sudden, with the early top out, this is going to give Dog the chance here. Going to nail that T spin, trying to uncover here. So Dog needs to get to four seventy eight. That is the target for Dog. Four seventy eight could potentially get there if he doesn't burn before uh, or going into 19 and this is what you can't have hap happen is neko if you're going to build out a lead against the player as dangerous as dog you got to be able to try to just stay alive and see it through because dog is not gonna you know if you give him an inch he's gonna take a mile and dog needs another four another five thousand points and there's a tetris and dog is good in game number one so unfortunate there for neko in three two one tetris is that neko with a bunch of three millions on the board now i now at the beginning of the month i had neko's pb as, as 2.99 million must have increased that pb in the meantime and uh when i go over to the main leaderboard for like high scores and things like that i did not find neko on that leaderboard so if anybody is listening or has a way to update that leaderboard and cajole neko into submitting a score on there now that i'm putting the pbs on the screen it would be good to makes you know for everyone if you don't have a score on that leaderboard to have it up to date 71,000 for Neko 35,000 for Doug I do all those um I do all those uh, graphics at the beginning of the month so if the, there is a, those have changed then you know that's not going to be reflected so they refresh at the beginning of the month You know, when, when we eventually get our full-time graphics team, man, everything's going to be super up-to-date. But for now, it's just catch as catch can. Tetris for Neko, 186. Tetris for Dog, 127. A dog with a rolling head shake. Dog on the left well with the 158. Two eighty one here for Neko. So Neko here with about a 77,000 point lead. Tetris Dog 275. The dog starting off uh, a bit slow, just like in game number one. But of course he was able to chase down a Neko score. So Doug playing a little, a little safer, a little slower. Tetris Neko 421, 345 for Doug.
And uh, I think one of my favorite factoids, uh, at least in CTM land, is 2023, across all our events, we had 11 different winners across 12 different events. And the only repeat winner in CTM in 2023 was Dog Playing Tetris. 471 Neko Tetris for Dog 439. <clears throat> Dog has been in the finals of the Classic Tetris World Championship three times in five years winning twice and the other two times was in the top four so I think across five years which seems like an eternity in classic Tetris that is quite an achievement five years apart which you know you really would not expect I don't know. You would expect players to be surpassed or whatever, but it seems like Dog is not. 538 Dog, 569 for Neko. Five sixty two into nine fiend for Dog. Neko, if he can Tetris this, which he will. He's got a six hundred K plus transition at six sixteen. Tetris Dog 643. There's another Tetris Dog 694. And Dog now in the lead. So at one point was back like 60 or 70,000 points. Now has the lead. Now he is ahead in lines by, you know, six or seven lines but has a clean board compared to Neko so we expect that score lead to be an actual pace lead pretty much right now dog with a couple of Tetris now 752 on 22 and Neko still scrambling middle of the board with holes over on the right side columns 8, 9, and 10 holes all there so that's pretty tricky to take care of because every time you, tr you know try to down stack a hole you end up covering some of the holes that you're also trying to downstack. So, all right, Neko here. Oh, beautiful. Couple of Tetris is dirty there for Neko. 746, 818 now for Dog. Just four lines apart. This is a real lead for Dog now. All right, Tetris Neko, 807. Dog, when last I check, is the number two score, you know, high score in the world. 14.8 million in a, on the crashless ROM. Tetris Dog, 980, 872 for Neko. There's a Tetris for Neko. Dog five lines ahead and 77,000 points ahead. Dog getting a little droughted here, but a clean board. Neko with another Tetris. That's going to bring him a, a bit closer. Dog now with the max out going into 27 at A20. So into 27 at A20. We'll see what Neko gets. We can compare their paces once he's into 27. And A03 into 27. So dog about 17,000 points ahead when the lines are pretty close. Dog now on 28. He's got the 1.1 Tetris for Neko. A77 dog into 29. At about B61. And Neko with kind of a covered well here. Four lines to go until 29. And gaps on the left side that are going to prevent him from burning a bit. He's got a Tetris there. But now he's got to get to work trying to burn this away. This is kind of an awkward transition for him. 
We'll see how he can downstack this. Now he needs to access the left. Opens up that right side and gets to Tetris. B29 for Neko now. Level 30. C21 for Dog on 31. He gets a Tetris. So Dog ahead by about 120,000 points. Now Neko has about 11 lines in hand. So if it gets this close and we get toward 39, that's going to be a factor. Neko though with a misdrop there, that's going to slow him down a bit. And Dog down stacking a little. Long bar over Tetris. D28 for Dog. B62 for Neko. Neko finally clean. And looking to get set up for the Tetris again. He's going to create another gap on that left side. And he's going to have to down stack again. Dog clean and Tetrising again. D79. He's now 200,000 points ahead. So this early deficit for Dog. No problem to overcome. But now he's kind of high centered with gaps in the middle. So we'll see what he can do. Just trying to eke out some last points. And no, he's going to top out D86. So Neko has a target of D87. Neko with a chase down target of D87. He's got 30, uh, 44 lines to do it. Tetris is here worth about 40,000. So two Tetrises would complete the chase down for Neko. And he's just going triples and whatever. Just take this, you know, take it easy. He does not need to rush it. He's at D40 now, so one Tetris would basically get him there. And he's set up for that. Oh, and he's going to hang that bar. And he hangs another bar. And he's going to recover and get the Tetris on the right side. Are you serious? I was crazy. I thought Neko was toast. He had the bar to get over to do that chase down to complete it. And he like double flipped the bar. Or no, he hung the bar in column nine. And then he got another bar and hung that, but was able to clear that away and get that next bar over to complete that Tetris and the chase down. A best of three and three, two, one Tetris. Being a mess is kind of the human condition, says our borrow. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I guess, uh, you know, hygiene and order is an accomplishment. It's an achievement, I guess, not to be taken for granted. So there you go. Good point from our borrow. Being a mess is the default. Titra says, good morning, Chad. I'm going to Domino's. Hello, Tyler. Ryan Chessmaster, by the way, cheered 10 bits 19 minutes ago, and I missed it. Says go Neko. And K9 watching Tetris cheered 321 countdown bits. Said go dog go. And also gigantified a dog emote for 60 bits. So thank you to those of you who have contributed to the stream. Appreciate it. So, yeah, those of you on the Vandy Death Watch, now the headache has started. I did not have a headache until now, and now I've got a headache. <laughs> 163 Neko, 163 Dog. Titra said, uh, this is order from Domino's, feeling basic AF. Just ordered extra cheese, extra sauce. You should order extra cheese, extra sauce, and extra dough. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> just, you know, just basically order, order two pizzas. Two seventy-seven dog, two thirty-five Neko looking for a bar to uncover, and will uncover, and long bar Tetris Neko two sixty-five dog in the lead, three twenty-three through sixty-one. Would anyone here 
choose a cheese pizza if there were other options. I don't think there's anything wrong with a just simple, nice, well-executed cheese pizza. Like, I think people are like addicted to adjectives with their food. Like, oh, I need the following seven things on every food, you know? Can you just have like a nice, simple, well-executed, you know, basic version of a food is nice sometimes. 313 for Neko. He's going to Tetris 336, 395 for Dog. Oh, our bar likes the Costco cheese pizza. Now, I, you know, I think like technically it's kind of an abomination, but it's a delicious abomination. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of food for the price too. If you just want pure calories. 472 dog, 429 for Neko. The Neko there with a covered well, it's a little bit complicated, keeps creating gaps here. And he's got like 10 rows piled on that Tetris well on the right. So it's gonna go to work. And we'll clear all that away. Now is an open well waiting out the bar. Tetris for both. Dog at 564, 468 for Neko. Vitz. Converted for a dog gets a long bar down for a Tetris 587 for him 492 Neko Neko setting up dirty column eight one row off the bottom that's going to transfer nicely to a row or column 10 oriented setup and he's going to get a Tetris down there too 633 here on 18 for dog four lines to go so a big, big pace for Dog. Decent pace here for Neko, too, at 538. Dog is into 19 at 657. Neko with a T-Tuck. Going to uncover that right side. No, but ends up covering it just before 19. Should have an easy exit here, though. And we'll uncover that well. Dog's board getting up a little bit high, the high though. Has Burns. Long bar over Tetris. Has another one already set up. Neko waiting out the bar. Gets it. 573. So 714 Dog. He's about 150,000 points ahead. Gets another Tetris. There's one Neko. Their lines are pretty close. This is a real lead for Dog. And maybe that uh, that chase down in that previous match has Dog looking at being a little more efficient here in game number three. You know, sees what Neko is made out of. Neko getting that chase down. And now Dog maybe looking to put it more out of reach. 823. Or he could just be stacking very efficiently and not thinking about anything. <laughs> it's probably what it is. Uh, 853 for Dog. 688 for Neko. There's Tetris Neko, 716. All right, Dog taking a few skims here. Trying to build out that left. Does so. Set up again after a Tetris. Long bar down, Tetris Neko, 749. 888 for Dog, level 24 now. Which I think the 14 color scheme is like my least favorite. I mean, just aesthetically. I mean, it's not, you know, the level seven color scheme is hard to play as is 26 at times, but at least it looks nice. That 14 one, that is an abomination and not a delicious one. 
Max out here for Dog. He is now into 26. He's almost got the 1.1. He's at A78. Neko, 854. So about a 200,000 point lead for Dog. He just keeps playing very efficiently. And Neko, you know, playing well and has a good score, 887 through 26, but keeps getting these little mini, you know, has to take a lot of burns low on the board. Dog just not letting up. B15 on 27. And the Vitz filled in for Dog triple for a skim and a tetris b57 on 27 long bar down tetris for dog b94 on 28 he set up for a tetris again he's got two more available before 29 he gets it he's got the 1.2 and he's just going to take a nice easy single into 29 at c32 neko at a28 max out here on 28 Five lines to go till 29. Dog staying nice and low on 29. Taking what the game has given him. I think he wants to just kind of see what's going to happen to Neko, but Neko's got a good board going in. And long Oh no, and Neko going to hang a bar on the right side. And Neko's going to top out right on 29. So had the Tetris well set up, hung a bar in column nine and had one more opportunity to get another bar over and couldn't so that is going to be a top out for neko on 29 and dog is good in game number three so dog really playing that one to perfection staying very efficient stacking very well in the 18 and 19 phase and that put just enough pressure on neko uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe that pressure got to him a little bit as he approached 29. Dog up two games to one. Three, two, one, Tetris. What time is it over there? Vandy says Gravity's Child or Gravity Child. It is 11.43. So Dog is in my time zone playing at 11.43 p.m. Neko, I believe, is playing at about 10.43 a.m., something like that. Somewhere in the mid-morning. What is my bedtime? Uh, I wish I knew. You don't want to know, man. It's a, My sleep is a mess. You thought Dog went to bed at like 9 p.m.? I mean, that's really the... That's the best strategy in life is to go to bed early, wake up early. But Dog staying up late to make this match happen. Re appreciate his flexibility. <clears throat> I will be... I'll be eating two of my uh, sleep chews. <laughs> immediately upon concluding this bracket and i'm gonna try to go the f to sleep that is for sure 140 for neko 161 for doug Nice adjustment for Dog to make room for the incoming L piece. All right, Neko with a cover well uncovers. Tetris for Dog. They had the same score and the same lines. And now they still do. Through 42 lines, 210, 140. All right, Doug taking the taking the double here, taking the triple. He's taking the burns, man. He's not, you know, he's not gonna be like, oh, I can only take singles. No, he's, you know, he's, when he's got to, he's taking the burns. Two forty for Doug, two thirty-five for Neko. You know, you'd prefer to take the singles, right? But if you kind of know you're gonna have to take two singles anyway, then you may as well take the double. You know, look at the adjustment for Doug. Making room for that S. 308 dog, 305 Neko. 63 lines each. Tetris dog. If you do want to support the channel and you're an Amazon Prime member, you do get a Twitch Prime 
subscription to give to the streamer of your choice. You get it for free from Amazon. And it's use it or lose it. Don't lose it. Use it. And uh, you don't always have to use it on us, but, you know, sometimes use it on us. Just keep us in mind. Rotate it in and out. Three thirty-six for Neko. Three fifty-eight for Dog. So Dog in a little bit of a dig. Neko is clean and high, taking the skims. All right, he's going to bring his stack down after a Tetris. Three sixty-four, oh four, and same score and lines again. All right, so Dog trying to get out of this. Would love a bar just to fill in there, but ends up just having a plug it away. Tease will plug it away, and now he is good. He's actually set up for a Tetris. Pretty darn quick. 394 for him. 389 for Neko. A little bit of a drought for these players. Players are on the same pieces, courtesy of the Tetris Gym Tournament cartridge. <clears throat> Barbarelia says, noticing how Neko's clothing says clothing. <laughs> That's pretty good. It does. It just says clothing. I'm into it. It's like shoe brand shoes, you know? Yeah, I mean, what else do you need, man? All right, Neko needs a bar for the middle or to just kind of chop this down bit by bit. Okay, he's going to turn that long bar dependency into an LJ. And just one more skim to get. He gets it opening the well, 443. Another skim of a triple and a Tetris. Neko, 471. I think both players experiencing this seed as a little bit difficult, you know, kind of high five, high four hundreds right now. There are about 120 lines or high four hundreds. Is that what I said? High four hundreds. All right. Dog with a 538, 517 Neko. There's a Tetris for Neko, 539. So pretty close in lines and score. And Dog just taking, looking to take a nice easy board into 19. Does so and gets a Tetris immediately after. 565, he's in. 563, Neko in. So pretty darn close at the 19 transition. Neko looking to win this one to stay in the tournament. Mr. Burrow, did you get your stickers today? I sent out a batch earlier in the week, and it seems like you'd have gotten them by now. And thanks, Mr. Burrow, for uh, posting a link to the Patreon. <clears throat> Tetris Dog, 695, 650 for Neko. And just about the same lines and dog ahead by about 70,000. Now by 100,000. All right, dog setting up. Nice, flat, clean, play, skim, Tetris, 809. There's one Neko, 714. Just one line apart and about 90,000 apart. Tetris Dog, 897 on 24, 804 on 24 for Neko. Same line count, 93,000 points apart. Dog in the lead, good adjustment for Neko to make room for the incoming S. Tetris Neko 838. Dog still clean, skimming. Tetris 962. Tetris Neko 869. And Dog just a few thousand points away from the max out on 26. This is where he'll get it. And there's a Tetris Dog max out A30. 
Tetris Neko 937. I think the pieces have been kind for the last uh, 30 or 40 lines, uh, uh, 30, 40 pieces or so. Or 30, 40 lines worth, so. I guess 100 pieces. Neko one away from the max. He's got the Tetris in the max going into 28 at A15. Dog's got the 1.1. And almost 100,000 points ahead. He's just going to look to take a good stack into 29. B24 entry for Doug. Neko one line away, long bar over. And an A88 entry for Neko. He's set up for a Tetris immediately. Dog had some cleanup to do. And there's the Tetris for Neko, B27. Dog into level 30. Still not quite set up. Neko going to take a nice skim and a Tetris for Neko. He's actually in the lead now. The dog is clean and now ready to get set up. All right, dog's going to have to take some burns and getting high centered a little bit. Going to have to take a triple on that right side. Neko in the lead, C23, dog B77. Neko also taking a triple on that right side. So Neko, uh, yeah, taking kind of safe burns here. And dog not in a position yet to score Tetris's. So Neko trying to just get his board set up here. He's going to take another triple. Dog setting up center well. Kind of misshifts a square there. He's kind of in on this bar now. And he gets the bar in C35. But what can he do now? Oh, and he gets a... Oh, my God. How do he get that bar into columns eight? I have no idea. And no, that's going to be a top out for Dog. C42. Neko is good. He's already at D50. So Neko will take game number four. Forcing a deciding game number five. And so Neko now mulling here, level 36, E57, maybe going for that rollover. And Doug, uh, the board getting a little bit nasty, so he's just going to top out. Get both of these players ready. The winner goes to the semifinals in three, two, one. Tetris. What does the two and the question mark mean on the PB stats? Uh, Dog is the second on the leaderboard, and Neko is not officially on the leaderboard. And while I could make up a place that his score would have had, it doesn't say that on there. So I just put a question mark to uh, indicate that, you know, there's he's not on the leaderboard. Steel says, Vandy is angry that it's a decider, so he can't sleep. No, I'm not angry. I like a decider. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just glad when it's the last match is all. <laughs> I mean, just tonight, I mean, really, I mean, normally I want everything to go deciders the whole way. Neko set up for a dirty Tetris in column 10. Three rows off the bottom. Gets it 55,000 for him. Doug going to skim the cover on the well. And ends up having to fill in sort of a line dependency in the middle. Or no, an L, it was a J dependency in the middle. Ends up having to fill it in, but clears it away very quickly. And it didn't slow him down at all. Nice adjustment of the J to make room for the square like an L-O adjustment on that left. Oh, yeah. No decider emote. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, I'm, you know, kind of doing the bare minimum there, Ryan Wasoba. But thank you for catching the decider emote in your second ever chat message. Appreciate that. So you'll fit right in here if you're correcting Vandy. But you did it gently, so it's okay. <laughs> Pixelandian chat rooting for dog. I don't know. For some, uh, that seems weird to me. Like, usually I think brothers just like root against each other, but these two, too wholesome, you know? Like, rooting for each other. Like, if I had a brother, I'd be like, dude, I hope you lose. 
Neko with the Tetris 205, 226 for dog. All right, Neko piling S's high on that well that he's got there. Now, it's not going to be any trouble get it down stacking it, but it's going to slow him down a little bit. And he's got that well exposed. And he's looking for that bar. But no, he's going to take this triple to uncover it and then gets the Tetris. Nice clean stack after the triple and the Tetris. 264 Neko, 256 Dog. Basically tied. Given the line difference. Tetris Dog, 280. And another one, 302 Dog, 287 for Neko. Dog out of the United States of America, Neko out of Russia. So it's pretty amazing to me that we can, like, do this, you know? Isn't it, isn't it marvelous? Like, pretty much in real time. And capture analog electronics and compete against each other in them. It's crazy. 372 dog, 360 for Neko. And Titrus already getting that uh, that Dominoes, man. And Titrus calling it Za. Who calls it Za? I've never heard that. When I was a kid, you know, in like a little kid in the 80s, like it's like I, you know, like in movies or shows would be like Za. Like I've never heard any human person call it that. Like, unironically. Like, what is happening? Za? The heck? All right, the game fe force feeding dog a bunch of S's and T's, and he had a very flat stack at the time, so couldn't really do much with them. But he's going to burn it all away, uncover as well, get that Tetris 468 for him. Neko with a covered well again. Adjustment dog for the Z, Tetris, 492, and Neko just can't help but cover that well right now with Zs and all that. And no good place for the S, so he just dumps it over to the left. And board's kind of dependent here. He's going to uncover that left side. That is good to clear away a double. And Neko going to clear this away. Finally, 424 for him, 538 for dog. Just a couple lines to go until 19. And Dog is in at 541. Net goes in at 431. Gets an immediate Tetris. Dog gets a Tetris here. Has a couple gaps over there. Column one that he's got to clear away before he'll start scoring again. So he's just going to get to work clearing that away. Should give Neko a little bit of a chance to cut into that lead. And he's set up for a Tetris and gets it. Neko, 531. And Dog piling over there into column 10. So that's going to slow him down a bit as he burns it all away. And now he is ready to start piling up and scoring Tetrises. But nope, he's going to put another gap in there. So this is all going to allow Neko back in. And Neko gets a Tetris 586. And I will not say Neko and Neko. I will not ever say that. So don't even ask. So 642 for Neko, 595 for Dog. He's going to maybe set up in the center. No, he's just going to take this down. And he's going to do a Corian thing to get set up, and he gets Tetris in the middle of the board. That was cool. 628 for Dog. 671, now 700 for Neko. Dog getting set up here has a double wide well that he filled in with a bar. Get Tetris ready, and he is. 690, a little bit of a slowdown now for Neko is letting Dog back in. We'll see if Dog runs into that. Dog running a few pieces behind. 
We'll see if Dog runs into that as well. 767 Neko Tetris for Dog 723. What would be worse? All the dog puns that happened in like 2020? Or if someone started doing Neko puns? I'm not sure what would be wor what would be worse. Dog getting set up. Dog playing safely with that kind of double well on the right side. Prioritizing some safety here. A21 for uh, Dog now in the lead at 203 lines. You know, ahead by a third of a Tetris, really. So just barely ahead, but is ahead. All right, players getting a little bit droughted here. I'm going to work this stack back down. Triple for Dog, A31. And a Tetris down for Neko and for Dog. So just about the same lines. And Dog ahead by about a half a Tetris. Tetris Dog 968. And he's got five, uh, five lines to go till 29. Neko just going to bring this board down very easily, gently, and low. Dog getting set up. He has the max out here on 28. He's going to uncover the well and take a Tetris well into 29. Long bar over Tetris Dog. A51. A06 for Neko. He's got the max out on 30. Neko with a Tetris A43. Dog going to take a double here, trying to get reestablished clean. He is established. Got a Tetris set up. Long bar over Tetris. A99. Dog. A84. Neko. Dog taking a nice, easy triple. Neko setting up for Tetris. His T dependent in the middle of the board, but gets a long bar over for a Tetris. And another Tetris. Dog on the right side. B59. B40. They're kind of keeping pace with one another since their 29 entry. Dog getting set up, takes a skim. He's Tetris ready, long bar over Tetris, CO8. Neko can't use that bar for a Tetris. He covered that well. Dog with another Tetris, C50, B63 for Neko. Same lines, 85,000 point lead for Dog. Setting up for a Tetris, gets it, C95. Neko is just kind of singling and doubling here, trying to get reestablished. Dog with a lead now, has a gap in the uh, in row one, or, yeah, row one. And he's just trying to bring this board back down. Neko now set up for a Tetris. That S on the right side didn't get all the way over. That's going to slow him down. Dog with an 80,000 point lead. Stings in a Tetris D56. Dog getting set up again. He is Tetris ready. He's taking skims. He's keeping that well open. Going to have to take more skims. Long bar over Tetris dog. E05. Neko at C47. Another Tetris dog. E51. He's up 200,000 points. With about 20 lines to go, Dog gets another Tetris. This is going to be tough for Neko to chase down if Dog stays alive. Neko trying to go aggressive, covers that well just as the bar comes. That long bar is going to cut off access to that right side, and Neko is going to top out with a D00, and Dog is going to take game five and will be heading to the semifinals. So a great performance here from Neko against the eight-time CTM champion, two-time world champion. No one's going to blame you for uh, not winning that one. And Dog is hyped here at midnight, getting that rollover into 39. And did an amazing job. Neko did amazing as well. But it is going to be Dog, who is your semi-finalist coming out of the, the red bracket. He's hyped. You don't see him pop off too much, but I gotta. I think during that time, maybe there was a little bit of a doubt for Dog. I mean, Neko is not an easy opponent. And, you know, Dog did, you know, give up some games to him that maybe you wouldn't think he would have. So I think Dog really dug deep and found something here when he didn't have his 100% best. So uh, great performance from Dog. Great performance from Neko to push Dog the whole way. Uh, you bring the two-time world champion, eight-time CTM champion, you know, to the brink in a deciding game five, uh, you can hold your head up high. Did a great job. You've got two former champions, two challengers trying to get into those finals. We'll see what happens. Hey, everybody. This is your old pal, Van Dweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly, and I'm asking you to do me a favor. If you like this video, 
hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you and have a nice day.